Good Thursday morning. We'll get to Let's Make a Deal in a moment, but first, take a live look at Bel Air in Harford County from our Mobile 13 as winter weather covers the state. You can see that mix on the ground. We have team coverage. Let's start with Tim. Yeah, Lynette, last snow we had was very pretty. It was nice to drive in. Not so much with this one. This one is that mix that Lynn was talking about, and radar shows the whole story. Really looking at a blanket of blue over the state. That's the snow that we've been seeing moving on through, but what we're seeing now is more of an infusion of moisture and warmer temperatures under that snow that's kind of making for that sleep and freezing rain. You see that pink just kind of uh, moving in and just kind of mixing with that blue. So there is a layer in the atmosphere that's a little warmer than just all freezing temperatures, and that's creating that meltdown before that sleet starts to form and before that freezing rain hits the ground and just freezes on contact. In the bigger picture, the load that's driving all this our way is pulling in some moisture from the ocean, some milder ocean uh, level air. So that's helping to, you know, just kind of reinforce that mix in the middle there. And the temperatures, of course, are right there at freezing or just a little bit. Uh, below in most parts of the area, it should, by all accounts, be an all snow event. But with that marine layer in there, it's all filtering in. So we're looking at temperatures in the 20s right now, and it looks like going into this evening, we'll be dealing with another set of problems. Marty, this is all still playing out. Yeah, it is. But note, Tim, we go out west where you see Eldersburg, Franklin, Westminster, Thurmont at 24. They were at 23. So I'm thinking that marine layer is finally starting to make inroads. Cold air is not. Uh, as fourthly dammed up against the mountains out in western Maryland as it has been. So I think we could say transition to sleet and freezing rain will continue for the next few hours. And finally, the storm will exit by tomorrow morning. Dry air is going to try and sift in and battle with this mix through the late afternoon and evening. Official forecast is for a high of 32. Warnings and advisories in effect through tomorrow morning. Lynn, take it away. Thanks, Marty. Our live team coverage of the winter storm continues with Annie Rose Ramos, who is live in Baltimore City. And Annie Rose, just a mess out there. Yellen, we are in Canton, just off of Boston Street. And if you're wondering what a steady flow of sleet looks like, this is what it looks like on the ground. If you take a look, this has been hours of sleet pouring down on the sidewalk. And if you look on Boston Street here, you can see the buildup. It is messy, wintry mix for those cars that are going, thankfully, really, really slow to give those plows that room that they need in order to, to move out that that sleet that's now been built up. It's just the wintry mix that Tim and, and Marty have been mentioning that's now been built up along the streets. Now, if you want to look over here, this is what it looks like when you're driving on it on the streets. It is completely messy, and it's something that wants, you want to be really, really slow around. So for now, reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ. Well, thank you, Annie Rose. Annie Rose has had that mix out there. Stetson is out in Carroll County in Finksburg with a look at more of a snow event out in your area, Stetson. It looks like you're seeing more white stuff than wet stuff. Hey, Tim, yeah, that's definitely right. Yeah, we are seeing quite a bit of snow right now. And if you look at the roads behind me here, we are just off of Route 140 and 91. Both are completely covered in white. Crews have been out here all morning long treating them, but there is obviously still a lot of work to do. We just spoke to some people who say it's very slick out there. They do not recommend driving in this stuff. We have seen some sleet earlier, but now it is definitely coming down pretty much as uh, thick, fluffy snow. So please be careful if you do have to go out anywhere, especially here in Carroll County today. We're live in Finksburg. Stetson Miller for WJZ. Thank you, Stetson. Here's another live look from Mobile 13 out showing you those roads, those messy roads. Conditions are very dangerous, so if possible, officials urge you to just stay home. Now here's Let's Make a Deal.